Greetings. The first of 32 here. This is an actual review, but I can tell you that the, um, the walkthrough hypnotism is kicked back in. So, we're getting ready to play another game and walk through it. Arumena no Kaseki, or Miracle of the Stone, as translated in English. For the Famicom disk system, as you saw. This play is like Indiana Jones. Though you don't have a whip, you have a grappling hook. You get all these kind of weapons that are pretty awesome. Though it's only six levels long, it's definitely not going to be a three-parter. <coughs> As we see here, the stone has been stolen. I also will be posting a Fama Tracker soundtrack for it. Yes, I will be posting Fama Tracker music again. Only this time, I'm not going to. This is under my copyright, not anybody else's. I even have. Never mind. But I have created some tracks for all you guys to see. And it should be pretty good. At least, if it were in the U.S., it's for the 2A03 sound trip, and not the FDS. I'm not good with the FDS chip at all, but... Huh. I may learn before you know it. You see, like, a wall in there, but... It's a death trap. So, as we see, we got some items. We got bombs, which are the most useless weapon in the game. We got knives, which is your primary weapon that you start with. You start with 30 of them. And here we have this weapon with two balls. Motherfucker Mike actually called it, um... <coughs> Motherfucker Mike called it... A pair of testicles. Though, I know it's like some kind of Japanese weapon of some sort. <laughs> like... Go check out his... Go check out his video. That was just hilarious in his NES Reproductions video. Though, the jumping control is a little awkward at times. And as you saw... As you saw... Enemies only drop items when... Ugh, come on. Like, right here, they only drop items when... when they're red. There we go. The only issue that I have with the knife is that it has limited range. That's what the gun is for. I I want to do my best not to blow a state because I just don't want the sound to get in the way. My my favorite weapon in the game is the two ball weapon. I'm gonna need to replenish my life soon. I'm gonna have to switch to this glowing orb. And the issue with the simulator is that it doesn't allow wave patterns of the disk system to be played. Uh, I just want somebody to drop health for me. This is the epic music that you hear in in the in most of the game. Ah oh, man. No, I don't want to use those. You don't want to use too many of those because that's the main weapon you have to use on the final boss. 
No choice, you must use it. But, the most powerful weapon in the game is this weapon that I've selected. Once again, I forget the name of it, so I'll have to comment in the next video about what it is. Thankfully, after every level, um, your life is replenished. Keep that in mind. Three, four. <coughs> you know what? No other way to do it, because I was very low on life there. So yeah. Alright, so here we are in stage two. One of my least favorite stages of this game. So, drop. Ah, uh, come on. Let's go. Into the spikes. <clears throat> and also, if you like... If you do like the soundtrack to this music, which I do not like on this emulator at all. Um, Gradius has the soundtrack on his channel. These scorpions, they never draw items. And that pink tablet that you saw up there, that thing, that is a health container. And we want that. Wait for one of these scorpions to hit me. Y yeah, let's wait for one of these scorpions to actually hit me. <laughs> oh, man. I totally could have gotten an item. Okay, how did I survive that? And also another thing is that you have to know where the fire is. I really want to kill some enemies. And here you see that it's like a rock wall. But once you get there, check it out. Spears coming out of a rock wall. Now here, there's actually a blind spot, so you don't have to worry about it. There are like tons of blind spots in this game. Sometimes you have to start over. You have to, perfor to perform some kind of glitch in order to get in there. However, I don't think you can do it until you get to the next... to the next level. I mean, like... Next one, you need to perform this very precise glitch that allows you to... Let's go through there. It allows you to go through the wall, but... As you may have saw, I did not do it. I'm gonna wait for the scorpion to go by. I don't like the scorpions because they never drop items for me. This is a good place to stock up on items. Those ones up. Bam! And no, the items will not disappear as as you expect them to. Alright, I need to destroy that thing as soon as possible. BAM! Uh, yeah, and the ones down there, they drop food for ya. Sorry, very clumsy at switching items. UGH! I just need to replenish my life, because I want to get this walkthrough over with. But even if you didn't get the food there, there's another health power-up over there. These guys over here, they drop bullets. 
And now here, I swear to God, you have no choice at all but to get hit by the fire. You saw I took a hit, but I don't really feel I had a choice. I, f I forget exactly where the spear traps are in this room. You can either deal with enemies by just, like... Oh, I hate this jump right here. I absolutely hate it. The jumping control is just really screwed up. That's it. See you when I'm done. Hey guys, I finally got up there. <coughs> that is the worst... That is the worst section of the game right there. I'm not kidding. Those... The spike balls, they actually go in, like... This weird arc. And they're really powerful, too. <coughs> Pork chop right here if you need it. You know I do. Oh, man. May as well just go straight for the boss door. And time... Oh, God. I don't want to take a hit. It's time to switch to my favorite weapon of all time. If I get hit, so be it. Four, five, six, seven. Only seven hits. See you in part two. We'll cover stage three. See you later.